Hi there. Now in this tutorial, what I want to do is introduce you to another form of the equation of a line. It uses the vector product or cross product. Already you should be familiar with the parametric form for the equation of a line. Let's say L. It's given by R equals A plus lambda B, where R is the position vector of any point on the line L. A is a known fixed vector for a point on the line and lambda is a variable scalar and B is a vector parallel to the line L. So how do we develop the cross product version for the equation of a line? Well what we look at is the vector going from A to any point on the line given by the position vector r. That vector would be r minus a. Let's just put it down here. And this vector from here to here is going to be parallel to the vector b. So what we've got is r minus a is a vector and it's parallel to the vector b. Well, so what? Well, we should know that if you were to cross two vectors which are parallel to one another, the result would be zero. So if I just say, but R minus A then is a vector parallel to B, then we can say that another form for the equation of the line L will be that the vector R minus a crossed with the vector b because they're parallel must equal zero. So that's one result that we could have. There is another one that we can develop from this and that is if we were to expand this we would have r crossed with b minus a crossed with b would equal zero. But if we rearrange that equation by adding a cross b to both sides, then what we get is an alternative, and that is r crossed with b would equal a crossed with b. Okay, so got two versions then of the equation of a line L. Okay, so using the cross product. OK, well, I've got an example that I would encourage you to have a go at. It's this one here. Find the equation of the line L in the form R minus A crossed with B equals 0. And also in this other form, R crossed with B equals A crossed with B. And this line passes through the points P and Q, where P has coordinates minus 1, 3, 4, and Q has coordinates 2, 1, minus 3. So, if you'd like to have a go at that, I'll be running through this in a moment, okay? Do pause the video. So we need, first of all, to get the R direction vector B, and it can be PQ or QP. It's up to you. I'm just going to look at that direction vector, and I'll choose P to Q. So the direction P to Q will be in the usual way, O to Q minus O to P. So O to Q would be the vector 2, 1, minus 3, 2, 1, minus 3, and then we subtract O to P, which is the vector minus 1, 3, 4. And working that out, we get the vector 3, minus 2, minus 7. So that's our direction vector. So therefore, if we're going for this form here, we can say that therefore, um, L, let's say L is the equation that has the form R minus, and I'm going to go for column vectors here. We need a point on the line, A, and it can be either P or Q, it's up to you. I'm going to go for P, so we'll put that in as the vector minus 1, 3, 4, and this will be crossed with the vector B, the direction vector, which is now PQ, 3 minus 2 minus 7. And this 
will equal zero. Okay, so that's one form that we could have. The other form then is this one here. So we'll just put or here. And we know that using this form, let's just put it up here, r crossed with the direction vector b equals a crossed with that direction vector b. a is any position vector of a point on the line. So what we've got then is that therefore r crossed with our direction vector b, which is now this one here, pq, so that's going to be 3 minus 2 minus 7 is going to equal. And for a crossed with b, what we need to do is just cross the vector minus 1, 3, 4 with the direction vector 3 minus 2 minus 7. And to do that in the usual way, what we'll do is work out the determinant for i, j and k. And then we put the vector a down next, minus 1, 3, 4, minus 1, 3, 4, followed by b, which is 3, minus 2, minus 7. So we've got to work out that determinant. And if we do this, we end up with, and I'm going to just write this in a slightly different form. Instead of column vectors here, I'm just going to write this as r crossed with 3i minus 2j minus 7k and then this is going to be equal to and if you work out this determinant in the usual way that's going to be minus 13i plus 5j and then minus 7k. Okay well I hope that's given you some idea then how you can use the cross product to give another alternative form for the equation of a straight line.